La Planada Natural Reserve is part of the municipality of Ricaurte. It is one of the most biologically rich places in Colombia, with 3,300 hectares of endemic species among them. The mountain toucan, the soch deer, the spectacular beer, bromeliads, orchids and palms. It also has the highest concentration of native birds in South America, with more than 360 bird species reported. One of the great visual attractions when arriving are the mist trees with large moss and tangled clothes that cover much of its territory and in turn hide thousands of species of fauna among the thick vegetation. Being also one of the last refuge of the spectacled beers in Colombia. Welcome to Colombia! We're in the middle of nature in a wonderful place and this is called Natural Reserve La Planada. Sarah was talking to the director, to Byron. Yes. And he only speaks Spanish so she will tell us everything in English what you learned about the place here today. So hello. Yes, as Frank said, I was talking with Byron. Uh, Byron is the director, as you said, but he has a special uh, identity that is he is an indigenous from the Awa community. Uh, this reserve has uh, around 30 years and until 2007 it was directed by the, by the Fundación FES from Cali. They were a private foundation uh, focused on conservation and uh, concentrated in this place. Why this place? Because in here you can find one of the better hotspots of birds in South America. And not only for birds but for orchids, for example. Unfortunately, after 2007, the war became harsh in this region and the members of the foundation were uh, menaced by the guerrillas that were uh, living here in this territory and they wanted to take the reserve so they have to leave. During that time this reserve was completely abandoned but in 2010 the Fundación FES and the owners of the reserve decided to donate the lands to the indigenous people from the Awa tribe with the compromise that the people from the community uh, will be working hard on conservation and the maintenance for this place for an uh, undetermined amount of time. They have been working on it and recovered the three years uh, where the, all the trails and the cabins were taken by nature, they recovered it. And now they, by their own, are conducting the reserve. And thanks to their compromise, uh, restoring the place and opening it again to people to come here for research and for tourism, they have received these international prizes for their labor here. So they feel proud and they feel like they can continue improving the place. And for example, the director was telling me that they already won a project like with 1,000 uh, millions of pesos mm -hmm. uh, to only focus it on research in birds, mammals, plants and they are involved not only national uh, institutions like, like Humboldt, for example, but international ones. So they are very happy and this, this project, for example, is going to be during three years. So they guarantee the establishment of the reserve with that activities and their own survival. So the place is situated between Tumaco and Pasto. It's on 1,800 meters above sea level, so the climate is very comfortable. And to tell a bit more about the installations, we will also show you. 
they have three cabins each for four people and their their standard is good it's sufficient they have uh, hot showers when they have water today for example there was no water so that can happen uh, the showers they have those electric plugs which are very strange for Europeans so when there's water you can shower hot there's another building which is for research and students uh, the level is a bit lower but it's sufficient you have a bed you have a, it's a good house but you have common washrooms and showers but also warm water the funny thing is we slept there last night and we had water because they have a big water tank on top the trails are very good the kitchen is very good also the, the common room it's good it was refurbished uh, recently so everything is new the, there's a big downside there's no connection like 200 meters walking there's a mirador like a, a point of view here we have mobile connection down there no connection at all so making reservations here and calling them and this is a big hassle it's not solved yet it's I don't know how long it will take but if you want to do it by your own um, it happens that people arrive and they don't have the reservation so you have to sleep outside in the rain so better you book your trip with me and Sara <laughs> And I was uh, wanting to add that before the, the research was taken by the indigenous people, they, there was no water and no electricity. This has been improvements made by them, winning projects and working hard on it. So that's a thing that is important to mention, because this is one of the few reserves in Colombia uh, where you have water and electricity. So that's a good point yeah. for the indigenous people. And right now, this is like a very secret place because not many people know about it. But as soon marketing will get more track, people will know more about place. And because they only have three cabins, it will be booked out all the time. This is good because then they will be able to make more money, to expand, build more cabins, uh, improve infrastructure. But as I said, if you want to come by yourself, uh, might be difficult also because all the transportation, you cannot get up here without a 4x4. This is also something, uh, because it's in top of a valley, it's on, on top of a hill actually. The good thing is it's all run by indigenous. Mm -hmm. It's on one side good and on, on the other side you cannot expect the services like in a 5 star hotel. Those people didn't have too much experience in the tourist sector so they're getting better and better training themselves up but as it is everywhere in Colombia it's touristically a very young country cool places high potential places are popping up but the level of services level of infrastructures on a national level are low but they're improving little by little and the most important birds why what are the birds why should people come we have the toucan, which nobody saw today. <laughs> so uh, this morning, yes, we were not only this morning, for, but since yesterday, yeah. we are <laughs> like ten <hunting>. people, <laughs> like ten people. Everybody with cameras, <laughs> like yes. with, with this teleobjectives, tele lenses. Yes, hunting the uh, toucan, the indigenous la mini rostris, that in English is the plate build a mountain toucan. So this is a, a place where it can be seen easily. We heard it and for example this point of view is a common spot. We also can find wrens, very uh, specific ones from the Nariño and Choco regions and uh, a lot of tangaras. Yeah, the tenatures. We saw some beautiful tenatures this morning yes. right outside the house. Exactly, and uh, lots of hummingbirds of this uh, Piedemont region that uh, together combines the Andean Piedemont with the biogeographical Chukwu. And what they also offer here, the local guides they have, they're not specialists in birds. Um, so if you want to come birding here, you, you might take your special birding guy with you, which you can hire 
uh, in Colombia through us if you want. But those local guides, they're indigenous, so they know the area, and you also can do night tours. Go to find uh, frogs and reptiles. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw some snakes, mammals. mammals. We saw a monkey dog up in the tree. People come here to, for our kids also. This is a place for botanists also because yeah. they are lots of endemic species. Okay. And well, that's all. And what are people researching here? The director told me that they, before the conflict, they had long term experiments, like with big plots yeah. placed in the forest to follow up the development of the forest or the, co the behavior of a specific species or for example they also have uh, two Andean birds so they were uh, studying their behavior trying to reincorporate them to the wildlife yeah. unfortunately the process was stopped it remains just one bird that we saw yeah. today uh, arcoiris <laughs> and that's all so that's the kind of research and with the project they already won they are going to reopen those plots yeah. for example the Instituto Humboldt is going to come here to continue to study uh, the forest the plants the orchids mm -hmm. everything from the point of view the taxonomy until the ecology and behavior. One thing that is important is that you can uh, expect a complete uh, tranquil uh, natural scenery. There are no dogs, no cats and no radio or television in purpose because that disturbs the environment. Mm -hmm. So you can expect absolute tranquility even if you want to come here to to record, for example, bird songs, it's an ideal place to do that. Wonderful! So, that's another very interesting high potential destination here in Nariño, in the south of Colombia. If you like our video and our information, please give us a like. If you need more information, write it down in the comments. If you didn't subscribe yet, now subscribe! Now it's the time, the moment! And send a link to everybody who's interested in nature, in birds. Just send it to everybody you know. And thank you for watching. Um, we always appreciate you lovely people watching our productions here of Colombia. Changing the image, because this country changed a lot and it's, it's so beautiful. And it's worth coming here. And Hope see you soon back on our channel or even here in Colombia. Bye from Nariño in Colombia. Aquí los estaremos esperando con los brazos abiertos, con los servicios que ustedes requieran. Ya conocen para la próxima. Con confianza. Bienvenidos nuevamente en la planada.